In this video, we're talking about headshots, how to use them correctly with your brand and how to make sure you're not paying someone for a fancy picture that doesn't get you any work. I'm Daniel Brea. I'm the CEO of DreamReach Media and I help actors and media professionals thrive by demystifying the industry, educating them on it, and supporting them throughout their journey. So let's get right into it. Headshots are often the first visual exposure you have uh, to a hiring party, a producer, a director, or a casting director. First impressions are everything. Remember that. Too many actors make critical mistakes by taking things like glamour shots and editorial looking shots that look pristine, are beautiful pictures, but are not accurate. They're not an accurate representation of what they actually look like. They're like looking off and have all these you know, beautiful backgrounds and stuff with the ocean and trees, or they're just a cell phone picture of themselves, like looking cool, but that's not the point of a headshot. Here are the top three things you need to keep in mind when you're taking your headshots or when you're assessing if your headshots are good or not. Number one, are you sure of your brand? Like, do you know your brand? Do you know the characters that you can put out there and want to be putting out there for the kind of work that you want to be getting? If not, get clarity on that first because it's pointless to take pictures if you don't know what they're for. And yes, a general headshots, a general headshots, and you can do sort of a, you know, have one of those. But you also want to put yourself in the right direction. So if you do know about your brand and you've done all the work on figuring out where you best fit and what you can bring to the table, um, then you need to ask yourselves, are the images accurate representations of those characters that you want to bring or can bring and uh, or not characters that's too specific character types right i call them inner heroes like a caring nurturing uh motherly type or a conniving backstabbing uh sort of evil uh menacing type like they're different types of people and you want to make sure that your headshots reflect those because you're likely best at that kind of work and you need to be able to represent yourself in a way that somebody sees your headshot and they say, yeah, that's the kind of person I'm looking for. Two, are your headshots accurate representations of what you look like right now? If not, like, did you gain weight? Did you lose weight? Did you cut your hair? Did you color your hair? Did you have an eye taken out because you wanted to look like a pirate? If they're not accurate, go out and retake your headshots. Bummer, yes, you have to take headshots semi-frequently. People want to give you a number, six months, 12 months, whatever. When there's a change, take new headshots, right? When the old ones are becoming less relevant, go get new ones. But go get new ones. Number three, headshots don't have to be expensive. Okay? They just have to be... Um, so, you don't need to get the best headshot photographer in the world because they photographed, you know... Marlon Brando and then uh, you know they're still working and no nobody cares they um, just have to do their job which is accurately we just said accurately portray you and the character types that you can play to invite the casting director or whoever's looking at them to to take the next step and watch your reel or invite you for an audition so in conclusion remember it's not about fancy glamour shots Leave that to Vanity Fair, Vogue, and Gucci. You need to be you. And you need to know who you are and what you can bring with confidence. And you need to convey that in your headshots. We'll make other videos about the technical aspects of headshots, what to look for exactly, the framing, and blah, blah, blah. But that's less important than this stuff. Okay? So don't submit a bunch of editorial uh, photographs or cell phone pics of you at a bar. Submit something that's professional, clean, clear, well lit, showcases you properly and accurately for the character types that you can bring and for the way you look today. You do that, your headshots will do their job for you in conjunction with your branding and your knowledge of who you are and where you can be as an actor, uh, which is a story for another video. If you do like this video and want to explore more about this kind of content, go ahead and click on the link, subscribe to the channel, find me on Google, YouTube, whatever, Daniel Brea, B-R-E-A, Dreamreach Media. Come check us out. We got more cool stuff for you.